and tell everybody and what I've learned myself is just accept it just accept that problems are going to happen but just yeah. get on and get the solution and think of a way how you can get around it and ask other people um people that are further ahead in the journey than you they've probably been through it and they've probably done it so ask somebody yeah yeah i think, I think yeah you you've you, you, you mentioned great points there around there uh, you know asking people and also the you know the, the help that you can get from mentors as well just like like you said because it's it's all about leverage isn't it you know if you can leverage other people who like you say have made the mistakes have learned from them then you can actually cut that that journey you know i, I remember i mean just like you're saying probably if you had a, uh, had a mentor know or knew then what you know now the the progress and the period that you've achieved certain things could have probably been a bit shorter in a way and and that, and i remember uh, speaking to rob moore as who you you know as one of your mentors as well he was saying the same thing that uh, you know he could have accelerated his progression had he known certain things but you know with with everything it's all lessons anyway now you learn you know then you can move even 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 quicker as well um and and uh, in in terms of uh, uh, the challenges as well, obviously we've had uh, this lockdown, uh, and uh, I was listening to uh, you know your uh, uh, podcast with with Rob as well, and uh, you've managed to achieve amazing results in a period when everyone is thinking everything has slowed down, it's so difficult to do things, but you've just gone out there and killed it. How did you manage that? Um, how I managed it was I literally threw myself into learning. I threw myself into reading, um, all sorts of learning. I used my mentors for advice. I got to a point where the when the first lockdown happened, I was so shocked and so, oh my goodness, and, and just like probably the rest of the world. Um, and then I just thought, no, we're just we're just going to go for this. We're just going to take the opportunity to go for it. And I, I've learned from all of my books over the years that um, you should do the opposite of what everyone else is doing or thinking. Mm -hmm. So when people are scared, you go for it. Um, when and 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 I never believe anything about the markets up and down nobody nobody can time anything you don't know if house prices are going to drop or if they're going to shoot up so i just wasn't waiting i wasn't going to wait i just i just went for it and um yeah. just do what i do best and just go for it really yeah that, that's brilliant and that's actually a great piece of advice you know you're waiting around for things to happen and they never happen and uh I think one of the best thing, uh, one of the good things about property as well is that it, it's quite forgiving in the long term, isn't it? You know, because uh, over the long term, the trends sort of move upwards in the way. So even if you buy something that you believe is overpriced or whatever, but as long as you're doing something, you're still going to win in the long term, isn't it? So I think that that's just a great mindset to say, you know, just, just go for what you 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 believe you can do you can achieve so that that's quite inspiring to see that so so how many how many deals did you manage to do in the in the lockdown we've done 26 deals in the lockdown yeah. In, yeah, 12 about just over 12 um just over 12 months we did yeah. 10 Wow, that, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. So, given the the sort of size of the like the portfolio and everything else that you're doing and you're managing, how do you manage your time to make sure that everything is is flowing uh, properly and, and 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 is running smoothly? Yes. Um I think you have got to manage your time. I think you have got to prioritize things. Mm -hmm. um, whatever is important to you, you need to prioritize it. And mm -hmm. I, if I feel myself, I'm if I'm thinking about 10, 20 different things that I've got to do, I write lists. 
and um, I focus on the top three, five things and I prioritise those things and I work to a system like that. I always go on things that need doing that that is the most important things. That's mm. what I work to. Yeah, okay, no, no, that, no, that's great. Now, uh, some people will probably be listening to this and be thinking, oh, you know, you, you, you make it, obviously there, there's success, but you know, not that you, you make it sound so easy, but can they really achieve it? And how can they get started? What can they do? And all of that. So it's almost a, a state of uh, overwhelm because there's just so much information out there about property, different strategies, different areas and what you can do. I mean, what, what would you, what would be your advice for people in terms of focus or to get clarity or to do one thing and follow it through rather than just, you know, changing different things and finding that they're actually not making progress in any one particular thing. Yes, um, my advice to somebody who wanted to get into property, I would say that you need to go for the area that you think you'll like mm -hmm. um, and niche into that area. Like some people like the building side of it or some people like the service accommodation side of it. Don't mm -hmm. try and do a little bit of everything. I would pick one thing that mm -hmm. you're drawn towards that you think you'll enjoy doing, something yeah. that you'll really like doing and and then focus on that thing. Just one thing, learn mm. about it, learn about that thing, you know, and do that for quite a while until you get quite a bit of experience in it before mm. then you start chopping and changing, doing something else. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's great advice actually, because uh, some people will get started into one thing. Uh, the minute they hit the problem, they start getting these limiting beliefs as in, Maybe it's not for me or it's not uh you can't achieve it in the way that uh, you know the experts or people say that you can and then they find themselves dropping it and finding something else and then uh, when they get problems in that they again the same thing happens so in the end they don't get to to progress actually so for for you in terms of um the different strategies and different uh, uh things that you do in property what is it that you specifically do? Is it is it just standard buy to lets, refurb and refinance? Is it HMOs or developments for capital? What is it that uh, um, you you guys are doing? <laughs> yeah, my 70, 80 percent is buy to let single homes, which I yeah. love doing. Um, mm -hmm. I, I absolutely love doing that, and 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 the reason behind that is I've got a lot of passion to provide homes for people that's what i like i like um, a family a couple a single person in a home and i love the feeling that um it gives them security and um i genuinely love being a landlord and providing homes for people so that's my 70 80 percent strategy yeah. um, I've got a real drive to provide homes for homeless people as well. And I've just started that last week and that was absolutely great. Um, mm -hmm. I've just got a real passion to provide homes for people. So we're concentrating on the buy to let. Um, yeah. Eventually I would like to provide more homes, smaller homes um, for people where so that will mean buying bigger buildings and then converting them into smaller homes for people because there's a lot of people out there that need homes and I want to be part of um, providing that for people so there is a lot of passion behind it you've got to have a passion behind the strategy that you go in for yeah uh, mm. so. no that, that that's great absolutely because it's like you say, if you if you don't have that, when you get the challenges, you know you you're just not gonna your your creative thinking goes out of the window. It's like oh oh this stuff is hard, but when you're passionate about it, you know you you have that creative thinking and vision to solve those problems and even do properties up in a in a creative way as well. So that's uh, that's good to know. So and. Uh, 
So outside of um, like uh, property, I mean, you mentioned about, you know, travel and your um, other passions like golf and, and all those kind of things. So how, how do how do, how do they fit into your busy schedule and how do you make sure that you're mixing you know work life balance as well for your own you know mental physical health and all of that yes um before the lockdown my number one um passion was my freedom to travel um mm -hmm. anywhere where i wanted which i absolutely love traveling and yeah. um, so i would ultimately work really hard and then take a break and go go traveling before i was a mum i used to go off every december january and um, mm -hmm. i used to go off to asia <laughs> and do traveling around there for two months over our quiet periods um, mm -hmm. I, I, I do i do I absolutely love traveling the, mm -hmm. the experiences that you can have is just unbelievable and mm -hmm. um, so as soon as we're all released again <laughs> and we're allowed to the traveling, I definitely will be fitting that into life yeah. because it is really important to make yourself happy and do the things that you love. Definitely. Mm. Yeah. And that's yeah. the reason why, isn't it? Why you do your work and why you do your business. Um, um, so that it enables you to do the things in the in your life that you want to do. So. Mm. <laughs> essentially to to live life on your term on your terms isn't it you know so absolutely so that everything that you're doing is is intentional because you you want you want to do it so um what is the your your vision like if you if you look at you know we talk about uh the big reason why and also the vision over the next let's say you know five ten years what is the grand plan like where do you see yourself and what are objectives and things you've set yourselves to achieve <laughs> so within the next two years i'd like to provide um a hundred homes to people um i've got that target i know myself very well that once i do hit a target then it does increase again and um i want to in my professional life provide as many homes as I can for people and um, mm -hmm. I want to provide homes for the homeless people I want to provide homes for disabled communities that's another part of side of me is that I want to build communities for yeah. those people and um, I genuinely love working so I can't see myself completely <laughs> stopping working I have have had mini retirements every now and again but I love to work, so my vision is to keep providing homes for people, keep mm -hmm. traveling the world, yeah. and inspire as many people as I can, and also keep being inspired by other people because it just makes you feel so good when you look up to other people and you see what other people are doing in the world. Mm -hmm. Not just about property, about, about lots of different things. Be, I'm always inspired by people. It's mm -hmm. great yeah so keep doing that is my vision and of course be the best mum that i can um be and continue to be yeah that, that that's that's brilliant it sounds like you you found that the the formula to sort of uh, live life on your terms you know you've got a business that gives you that financial freedom and you can get the time freedom within that to do the things that uh, that you would uh, you would like you would like to do as well um so i guess um um you know looking into the role of uh, uh like, like 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 we touched upon before training and being surrounded by the right uh, the right kind of people to to break through into success for people um is there any specific uh things either from a training wise whether it's a uh, uh, training courses or mentors or, or listening to uh, you know whether it's, it's podcasts or reading or audio books that you can encourage or recommend people to do as part of their personal development to break through into some success as well. Yeah, 